Right, I stay behind these barrels. Let's get closer. Don't worry about it. Weird shit starts happening after a six hour. Whoa. How close is this? Somebody is stealing the parts of food. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Metro Last Light. Alright, in the last part, we um, pretty much got betrayed by Pavel, the only guy who was our friend on the road to um, Polis. And now him and his um, his general captain guys and all that have um, learned that we know more about the Dark Ones and they want to try and take get that out of us. And Pavel knows more than anyone, so as, as you can see right there, it says at the bottom of that paragraph that he's our current target. So he was our only friend, now he's our enemy. <laughs> Our true enemy, our only target. So we've just escaped because um, the, the general's son has let us escape because he doesn't really agree with the general's choices. So we just escaped through an air vent and let's continue, see where we are now. Okay, made a mess. Hopefully, this is our supplies, hopefully. Because we were captive, so you'd think that they would have took all the weapons off of us. Okay, so I think we've got the weapon. Yeah, we got the weapons back that we had before. There's a, I think that was a Molotov, like a incendiary rifle. I mean, a grenade, excuse me. Okay, there's some stuff on the tape on the shelves there. You can't really access any of it. Possibly open this, yes. So we got a med kit out of that, some ammunition. As well guys, if you've been watching the previous videos, this pistol, it fires shotgun shells, so it's really powerful. There's a guy over there. You've got it yourself. I'll go stand there around the corner. Piss your pants already? Then watch a real man. Okay, so we are hidden in the darkness right here. There's a metal detector, so we can go around the right hand side of it once we get to it. But first, you've got to deal with these enemies ahead. I hope that um, they have a split up. Yeah, it looks like they're going separate ways, so we can take them out easier. Just trying to be as careful as possible. Seeing if any of these guys move anymore. If they don't, it looks like they do stay in position. So we can move forward, it looks like. Scared, huh? Get off my case. Okay, I'm gonna shoot the guy. This is the usual tactic when there's two enemies. Shoot that one. And then light this one. And no one no one heard that, that's good. Works like a charm every time. Okay, so it's searching the bodies right there just to make sure I stock up on all the ammo, health kits, and any filters if they've got any that we can. So there's one more guy that was here. And he went down here, didn't he? There he is. First you order a patrol, then you expect me to sit here. Yeah. See if there's anyone in the next room before we try and take this guy out. Come in, second pot. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? Split in two? Yeah. Just take him out. So he was being called right there on second that intercom. Shit, I should have let him speak on it. Crap. There might be a guy coming through that door now. Maybe I can speak. Nope. The main character in this game. Okay. Just want to quickly check around. Just in a radio on by accident right there. Okay, so there's a guy on the Instagram trying to call in. A second post, he sound like he was saying. So we need to um, get off here before any more reinforcements come in to investigate where this guy is. <laughs> so let's just carry on. I don't know where that guy's calling from. Possibly outside the door or maybe in a control room. Okay, so we've got a lot, a lot of enemies out there. You can turn the power off right there. So we've got to go out this door. And we're going back around that way. So we're going to definitely have to turn this off. Because it's way too bright in there for those to go undetected. Only turn some of the lights off though. We're in the darkness right here. Although it doesn't really look like it. We are hidden. There's a few guys here. Let's just stop here a second to get out the waypoint. We're going that way. In front of us, there's a guy right there. So we need to try and get around to the other side. 
while staying in the darkness. There's a guy over there. He's patrolling. Looks like... Oh, this guy's moving now. Let's just stay here for a second. Is that guy still on the truck? Oh, the guy's come off the truck. Okay, let's move around this side. Turn off the same torch that's on the what on the table. And now we can move around the outside again even more. Because no one's looking in this direction with any light. Nice, nice little gap right there. Okay, there's two guys there talking. Looks like we're heading towards that green light. See right in front of us. Okay, just gonna make sure none of these guys put their spotlight on us. That guy right there could possibly see us if um, we go and we step out. I'm not sure though. I suppose I could just make a run for it. Let's go for it. We're still in the darkness. The what the wrist watch has not gone blue yet, so that means um, we are undetected still. Let's stay around the outside again. Okay, so those guys are all sitting over there. Hey you, down there. Watch out for your head. Okay. Um, Let's fall back a bit, because there's guys patrolling around there. So there's a guy on that thing, he turns around a bit, so we, we can't go behind him if he moves. But there's also this guy right there, he does... He patrols as well, so that's still going to be the difficulty here. We may need to take one of these guys out. Okay, he's getting off. Let's see where he heads. So that guy is there, there's another guy behind that. Um, Machine as well. So these guys are going over here. Let's take this guy out. While he's on his own. Okay, took one out. There's a guy over there now. I think we're going through that green door. So I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna take this guy out. Then go for the door. Just to make it easier. In case he could have spotted us. It's a shame you have to reload before you open the door right there. I was in a bit of a rush there. So hopefully the door's closed. Yes, it's closed. So the, that section behind us looks like it's been all closed off now. No need to worry about that. I'm trying to pick up filters right there. And I can't because I'm full. Whoa. Okay, there's a light up there. I need to turn that off. Okay, that's better. Someone did detect me right there. I heard someone say, What the fuck was that? So we've got to be careful right now. And that no one comes over to inspect. Okay. So no one's coming over. We are heading through all this shit. Okay, so let's go around the right hand side. There's a switch we can press there to turn off the power. Okay, there's a few guys there. Um, it'd be really good if I could distract these somehow. Which I don't think you can. Maybe I can just walk past this, because there's no one looking got a light on me, and I'm in the darkness here. Let's move along the wall. And now let's turn this off. Engineer. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to actually take the high ground here. Because um, it's always better to be on high ground, I feel. Picked up some filters that look like that, and a knife. So... Looks like we may be heading either in that box right there, or behind it, beyond it. So I want to see, possibly, if there's a way- I'm stuck here. I'm stuck on a pipe. Go! Okay. Can I go through here? Is this going to burn me? Nope. I'm okay to walk through this. So this could be a better way to go to um, progress through the room. Those two guys are stopped down there. There's a guy right there below us. Let's climb back up. Um, possibly shoot this guy. Why is that light just switched off? You see that? It has squeaked like the noise it makes. Am I down? Whoa. I'm trying to see as well if there's any enemies. It's a bit of awkward controls right there. Okay, let's drop down here. This is surely going to be a better way to go. Is there a way to jump up? Um, I don't think you can go up through there. So let's move backwards a bit. Let's go around this side. So of course I'm going for a full stealth route here because it is a diff high difficulty. It is always dangerous to um, go loud in high populated areas. Okay, so we're on the other side of the um, 
the room now it looks. There's a guy patrolling over there. I think I need to get up into that building, that box, you know. Let's just move forward a bit. Let's see where we need to be heading. Okay. Let's see what that is. There's a door here. No, we can't use that. There's a guy right there. So I think maybe go up that, up that ladder there. That will lead us up to that glass box. Oh shit. Didn't even see that. Good thing about this game as well, guys. When you're stealthing, you can crouch, jump, and you won't be you won't be heard, which is really good. So there's a guy there reading his um, manual. Okay, there's loads of guys here, all like looking in this direction. Possibly. Ah, shit! Yeah, you can go underneath this. Perfect. And then hopefully we should be able to come up. Let's quickly check this first. See if you can open this. I bet you can. Yes. It's a shotgun. I don't want it. <laughs> Got a shotgun pistol and I also assault rifle. And as always, there's no point having two weapon weapons with the same ammo type. So let's go up here. I think there's a guy inside here. Yep, he's on his own. Fuck! I got detected, what? Alright guys, I just got detected right there. Um So we gotta be very careful now with the lights. So we're gonna climb up here again. And as you can see up there there's lights that are switched on, so there's there's a zones here where we can't step into so let's stick to the right stick to the right hand side um what let's shoot this guy. i don't know what the hell just happened guys the music's kicked up and there's no i haven't been detected so i'm just gonna shoot that guy just to make it easier the alarm they've set the alarm off so let's push that lever, pick up that booklet, um, where are we heading now? Oh shit. I think we turned off these vents so we can get through the gap. Yeah, that's what we just did. Okay. <laughs> so I think you're kind of meant to get detected there. Strange. Alright, stay crouched. So we're still stealthing our way out of captivity. This is... This is a lot of stealth. Compared to Metro 2033, there's a crap ton of stealth in this game. Okay, the ladders are very weird to manoeuvre on, on this. Okay, so these guys, two, two guys here, I mean, they're talking. There's a lot of lights here, so it's going to be hard to manoeuvre without being detected. So possibly take these two guys out, actually, because we have got so much light on us. Whoa. Why is that light flare in my eyes? Okay, they've, got, they've gone their separate ways now. So let's, um, let's take this guy out. What? And then, um... He said what as I didn't slice his neck. Like, as if that's what you're going to be saying as you're getting choked and your throat slit. What? <laughs> Be like, ah, oh, guys, help me! So, um, there's still more guys around here. Let's, let's maneuver around the right hand side. It looks a bit darker on the right hand side. So there's two there, one there. Possibly, can I go around the right hand side? There's no light on me right here. No, I can't. There's a ladder there, though. We'll use that ladder, actually. As long as this guy that's walking either stops or... Oh, go away, come on. I think I'm, a, I'm okay to actually move. Yeah, let's move. I'm not. I'm still in the shadows, so I'm fine. So we should be able to progress some, um, some way across the room. Well, they're making all sorts of damage up there. Look at that. So let's, let's, let's turn this light off. Let's move across here. We didn't really get that far, we just moved across the room. We didn't actually move down the room where we want to be heading. So, we just, I think there's a door behind all those cabinets over there. Um, okay. So, we got to be careful now. Okay, there's a little window here to move, I think. So, if we move across now and go up this ladder. Yep, that's good. 
Okay, that's too far away to blow. Um, still crouched. Let's move across. We can just ignore that life for now. I think that's where we're heading, that door right there. This looks like there's a box to open here. We're full on health packs, so we don't need that. Why's he running? Oh, he's, pull it. he's exercising. <laughs> okay, so we need to get down there, and it is lit up as well, that area, so do need to be quite careful on um, not being spotted. That guy's a pain right there with his flashlight. Possibly just jump down. I don't think I'll make a noise. There's a wall there as well. Shit, there's a door right there as well, and I think that guy that's whistling, walking around is in that room now. Alright guys, I've waited for about a minute now, and there's no one there. He's no, he hasn't come out on that, si that side or this side, so I'm just going to drop down. I'll look inside the room as I drop down, just to make sure he's not there, and if he is, I'll shoot him. Okay, there was a guy there. They, How did they all spot me with that? Let's run. Let's get through this door, get through this. Alright, fuck it. We did stealth it to some degree. It was only the escape that, uh, that room that actually left us being detected. Okay, so there's more enemies we need to stealth. Really? <laughs> this is nuts. I think I'm in the darkness here. So let's go around. While they're having a conversation. Well, obviously, I think we're normally heading towards green lights in this game. Actually, let's just check over here. There's a loot box there. Nice. Whoa. Almost spotted right there. I think there's only two guys in this zone. Sorry, guys. Got to itch your nose. So, um, I think we can just mo walk around because they're still in the darkness right here. What the hell was that light that just flashed? Um, shit, that door's opening. That door's opening. Shit. Why is it opening? Hopefully I can stay here. Um, I'm in the darkness right now. As long as he doesn't put his torch on me, I'm okay. I stay behind these barrels. Let's get closer. Don't worry about it. Weird shit starts happening after a six hour Whoa. How close is this? Somebody is stealing the parts of food. Probably one of ours. Waiting till our backs are turned, then selling shit to Hansa. Okay, so that worked out quite well. Well, they're facing that way now. Let's make a move. Okay, we're in the light here. Let's get behind cover so the guy on the left doesn't see us. Let's keep moving down forward a bit. We're in the light right now with this fire. Be nice if that door would close. I don't know where the guy is. He's behind cover there somewhere. Let's just, we're in the light here, so we've got to be careful. Okay, we're in the darkness again. We're fine. For the moment. That guy is moving forward. I'm not too sure, because look how heavily armored this guy is. I'm not too sure if I can melee this guy. I'm sure, I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, what? Yep, that worked. The noises of the enemies are weird in this. And they go, huh? What? As they're getting, like, their throat slit. It's like, that's not how you'd react. Can we use this? I don't think there's any reason to use it anyway. That turret. So let's keep moving forward. I don't think there's any more humans in this area. Looks like we're heading towards a, a mutated and um, populated zone. So let's just be careful. There's a helmet there. Is that any use to us? I'll just turn that off, okay. <laughs> Looks like we're in some kind of like cobwebbed um, infested bus, maybe? There's a body there. Whoa. Let's check down here. What's this? There's nothing there. So let's um, head through this corridor. Look at that guy's body. Okay, let's just keep moving. I think we've escaped quite successfully now. There's an incendiary grenade on the floor right there. I couldn't pick that up because I think I'm full, I guess. Let me just quickly check my ammo supply. I got 58 shotgun shots. That's a lot. When my pistol fires a shotgun shell one at a time and it's a one-shot kill, that's a lot of bullets. That's a shitload. And I've also got max ammo on the assault rifle. So we are well equipped for any firefights that we come across or even have to stealth kill enemies. The reason why I haven't been stealth killing all that much is because I'm not sure how if enemies will hear you killing the other enemies in the in the area, you know. So if I if I can. Oh shit. 
The big Stay down. Oh my or god. Are we gonna get rescued now? Artyom, Who's this? Oh shit. I was able to send the report back to the Order via my old acquaintance, Andrew the Blacksmith. At least Miller will know that I am alive, that I haven't completed the mission, but haven't resigned from it either. Okay, Andrew the Blacksmith. Yeah, we met him in 2033. He helped us out when we got to a station where we were doing, <laughs> they were trying to kill us because they didn't want us there. Yeah, okay, that's good. So thanks for watching guys, that's really all we've got time for for this video again. So I like to end videos as well at the end of the chapters. So thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video, bye.